Hey, this is Fletcher from Sunsun Audio. I'm here to show off the uh, Origami Orgasm, which is a dual circuit module featuring a wave folder, the knobs and jacks on this side, and on the right side is a wave shaper, uh, which is what you see happening right now. And um, uh, it wants a square wave on the Y input, and any other wave shape on the X input. And right now I have uh, the, the Y input hard synced um, to, to the X input. And I can flip through the octaves like this and you'll kind of see what's happening. If I don't have them hard synced, you'll see it drifts a little bit, which can be interesting on its own. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is feeding it with a triangle wave, and if I change the pulse width of the Y input, you'll see what happens. I'll switch it over to a saw. And flip, get a reverse saw. I'll put this under uh, LFO control for a second. You can get some really, really nice low tones with this. And of course, they don't have to be synced at all. You get some interesting drifting happening. I'll just put this under sequencer control here. I'll change the pitch of uh, the Y input. Or, I mean, sorry, of uh, the X input. I'll bring down the pulse width modulation. You can get really interesting, complex uh, FM-like sounds. Because this is direct coupled, you can also use it to process uh, control voltages. All right, so I'll show you the uh, wave folder section of the origami orgasm, uh, which is the left hand knobs and jacks. Um, it's essentially stacked 
uh, Lockhart wave folders, so there's two of them, and the morph knob provides interaction between the stages. And the drive knob controls a drive that comes after the wave folding. Uh, because it's uh, because it's two Lockhart wave folders, what it wants to see on the input is a rising slope, so a triangle wave, sawtooth wave like that. I'll sweep the amplitude of the triangle wave now. I'll switch the morph knob over here. I'll bring the drive down a little bit, do that again. Bring the drive back up. Uh, what I have going into the modulation input is just a, a triangular LFO. And when I bring that in, you'll see it provides something like a pulse width control. get a nice phasey kind of chorus sound that way. I'll bring down the uh, bring down the amplitude of the LFO. Currently I'm just running the oscillator straight into the input. Things get interesting because it responds to amplitude if you would take the output out of a VCA that's controlled by an envelope like uh, this. Thanks for checking it out.